Right, well hello there guys to yet another stream of Grumbrindle Goes a Grudgin. For those of you on YouTube, I do believe we're now on episodes 15 and 16, but I could be wrong about that. Just check the title, you'll know which the number is. Anyway, uh, on we go. So we kind of need to pick ourselves a new enemy. So we're going to take a look at our attitudes a little bit. Realistically, we've got three armies. We've got Grumbrindle down here that is going to go and take out what's left of Clan Wars over here, Karaka Rud. And then possibly down here to the uh, South World's Ed Mountains because we need to link up with or potentially take the settlement down here from Karak Zorn because we need that for our victory objectives. Next, we kind of kind of want to just remove them. We don't really want um, either Kalador or the uh, last defenders getting particularly tough down here in the corner. So, might be worth us going over here. But because Chaos is out, and Chaos is out in full swing, we don't really want to be doing too much against the Order Factions. There aren't really many of them left. If we take a look up here... <laughs> Vampire Territory. I mean, World Walkers over here. Uh, I got even those what's happened to Protonia. I mean... Corone seems to have been removed. You've still got Carcassonne and Paravon hanging on, but they are just hanging on. Dwarves as well, I mean, they're doing okay. They've still got their starting province. Better guys still alive and kicking. But uh, over here, yeah, just in general, they seem to be doing badly. So here's, here's the plan. Grumbrindle's going to deal with this section down in the south. Thorgrim and Ungrim are going to come over here and deal with that little pocket of uh, undead. And we're going to take that. Lamea is a capital that we need anyway for our victory objective, so we should sort that out. All three of which are then going to come over here and take out these orcs, uh, the top knots of Gorgazan. Luckily, they don't like Kemri either, so we shouldn't have too much of an issue there. And up in the north, what we want to do is either go to war with the Bone Rattlers, who are up here. They've got about eight provinces. They stretch all the way up to where Chaos is, which is probably not the best idea because we want Chaos to get a little bit of swing so that everyone likes us, so that when everything goes to pot afterwards, we've got ourselves a little bit of breathing space before all of the Order factions declare war on us. Uh, so that's what we want. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in at the soft underbelly of the Vampire Counts by building an army here and here, and then coming up on these provinces here, but we're not going to go against the actual Vampire Counts, no, no, no. We're going to take out the Von Karsteins first. So, with that in mind, very quickly recruit a Lord over here, someone that I don't really care for. How about Thick, Thick Grousen? He can go over there. I'm not interested in leveling him up because we're not going to keep him. We are going to have... Um, Oh, Gotrek and Felix. They're the ones. There we go. Right, and then over here, Yadri Oath Forged. Yes, we're going to recruit you up. You can go in there. And what we really want to do is just as much as we can. We want flame guns. Two of those. Two cannons. That's our local recruitment sorted. Um, obviously, undead have weakness to fire, but we don't really want them getting in that close. So... Let's have some... What do we get up here? Quarrelers. Quarrelers with great weapons. That will do five of those. And then we want some of those as well. And then to finish up, we're probably just going to throw in like a load of line breakers or something. Uh, we'll grab a hero. Weapons master, that looks good. Yes, he looks fine. Blade Master. Couple of bits of plate armor. Some melee defense. Foe Seeker. That's good. And then can we recruit anyone else? Have we got enough money? Good. Yes, Master Engineer. Fantastic. Speed, movement range, or research rate and construction. I think we're going to go for movement range. We want to be pretty flexible against uh, these undead. Uh, so, firing drills. Uh, ammo could be good, but I'm thinking missile strength. We 
we go for missile strength make the missiles really heavy and big as well and then this guy we're not going to make him any better but we are going to go for root marcher then inspiring presence and then iron drakes and flame cannons could be better or we could go grudge throwers hmm ammo for quarrelers though probably best go for that he's going to start getting built that's fine Thorgrim start jumping you this way Ungrim has got a bit of time yet so we're just going to move on with him and then Grumbrindle go in over here oh that's a nice easy one let's just auto resolve that Ooh, a little bit of damage there. Not too bad, though. Uh, we're going to sack it first, and then we're going to go in and occupy. Gives us a smidge of money, um, which I'm not going to use on any of it yet. You can come this way, and you little Thane, you can come this way. Send in the Reckoners. That's fine. Uh, and then, yeah, if we want... I mean, that's going to take up to four turns in our own bit. I think it's probably best just to wait. Mm, no, I'll leave that. Settlement upgrade. Ignore... Ignore everything from now. Oh, except Grumbrindle. You can level up. Cargan Sour Scale. Hmm. Charge bonus could be good. I mean, we are going to be going up against green skins, but not enough to make that worthwhile. Uh, damage walls, maybe? Hmm. How about wound? Yeah, we'll make him. We'll make him wound. There's no reason to do anything else. And then, hmm, no, I'll, I'll hold off. So yeah, the plan is kick off like two wars at the same time. And then round ourselves around to uh, to take on everything else. Greetings, honourable. Imrek, you want a nov? Well, you want a nice military alliance. Um, no, not 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 really. If someone attacks you, I'll come and defend you because it's only going to be someone around here. I've got a couple of armies down there anyway. And it would give me a good reason to go after the last defenders, but other than that, no. No, I don't really uh, don't think that's what you need. I do wish the Warriors of Chaos were a little bit stronger. So, we'll see how it goes in this campaign, if we have to try and get them resurrected or something, or if they don't really come anywhere near us, we might have to change that. Can't wait for them to actually feel like a proper faction in Warhammer 3. I'm hoping that we get like some settled Chaos factions. Um, that would be nice. Uh, right, so we've got lots and lots of money again. Good. Alright, now for a runesmith. Actually, no, we'll go for another th thing because runesmiths... Um... Yeah, we'll go for another thing. Action success chance. You can be our scout. Cool. Um... What's a specialist? And then... Assault units. And... Oh, you can still level up. Okay, assault... Uh, assassinate. It is agreed. What needs to be done? And our Both of those can move into that assault. army, which Only brings it up to 16. Coming. That's not bad at all. Uh, and then what we want is probably just long beards. Yeah, okay, so three turns and that army is ready. Vengeful Rune Lord. Uh, we can go in and speak to them. We can hire them. Well now, 
know I'm hungry. Nothing like a bloodbath to work up an appetite. What malign beast must we face next, Gotrek? Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, yes. Right, let's get rid of Thick Gaulish. Send me a champion. Come on. Move him over here, and then we're just going to recruit up some miners. Don't need anything too serious. We just need to kind of reinforce because we want to take Karag Dromar first and then send Gotrek and Felix off on their own afterwards. Hopefully they'll be strong enough to like do their own thing. The nation calls. Uh, floating village. Let's upgrade the walls there and then over here. They're fine. Misty Mountain needs to go up and then Death Gorge can have trading depot. That's our money spent, but that's fine. They'll jump over to their next turn. I'm here. All right, I want to move to there and then ambush. Because I want granite massive. Onward. And I want to see what's going on out here as well, actually. Queek is over here. But I have a feeling there's possibly an army in there. That's fine. Last defenders. Croc Gar is coming this way. He's got Lord Croak. Has Itza died? That wouldn't be fair. Would not be fair at all. Right, no worries. We're going to go down there anyway. Uh, Qatar. We do kind of need to take Numas out. Uh, not a biggie. That is all Fine, damage building, have no money. And the turn. Ta-da! So, yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun killing off some vampires. It shouldn't be very hard. Them, um... them not having range and all and them being weak to fire and stuff so having some cannons for taking out all of their big beastie boys of which they shouldn't have too many then having like quarrelers and gunners and stuff should be all good Do not sully my presence. Any they wish for military access no but how about non-aggression and trade and you pay me. Okay, why won't you pay me? What about if it's only 700? Do not sully my presence. They wish for military access. No. What about trade? And what about you pay me? Okay, what about 300? Bye. That's fine. There's still some money. So we've made a grand out of that. And we're now making more money through trade. And obviously we gain bonuses on trade because we're dwarves. And we have all of those um, lovely, lovely buildings that give bonuses to trade and stuff. That's uh, kind of doing it for us. Okay, if we do that, we get growth, minus public order, and recruitment. We'll do that. We'll take the minus to public order. Because it really doesn't matter too much. You're going to come back here and just search those ruins for me. They don't have a lot. So we're going to go in at Deathmaster Snitch. Going to lightning strike, and then we're going to kill off Snitch. It's going to be dead. It's nay bother. All right, so obviously he's kind of invisible until he gets to the front line, but that's fine because the front line's going to be Grom Brindle and Cargan, and then followed up by Gunners and Quarrelers. So. <laughs> Should be okay. And the rest of his army is like Skaven slaves. Not not really the 
best thing for them to have. They've only got one lot of clan rats. Obviously, they're going to be able to spawn clan rats, but I'm not too concerned about that at all. And the fact that they've got pretty much no range means that I can just run out there with a helicopter and shoot at Snitch on his way up. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is all fair. He is fair game. And once he's gone, we should be able to take the town pretty much straight away with just an auto-resolve, to be honest. The only reason I'm doing this is because it's Snitch, and we need to get payback. Right. Okay. Uh, Donners. Oh, no, we need... Uh, okay, we'll, we'll form up over here. These guys in the centre... Two ranks. Okay, those there. Thunderous. There. That's good. They can all be group five. For the High King. Six and group four will be the set of quarrelers right behind. There we go. And obviously we do want the Iron Breakers. The Iron Breakers will be the side defence companies. One. Uh, reserves can be the Axe Infantry. Here yeah, are normal Dwarf Warriors. There we go. Okay, helicopter that way, everyone else. That's not the helicopters. Can turn around and move to there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want you on guard mode. I want you to be able to follow. Where are you, you sneaky little bugger? There he is. Take him out. Yeah, do him a bit of damage. Well, that was well placed, wasn't it? Nothing can stop us. Okay, just follow him. Shoot him. All right, rotate around. Push out on the flanks. Okay. Okay, they are doing what they need to do. It's fine. Turn them around. Fine breakers, get a bit closer. There we go, that's that entire army dealt with. Snitch is dead. Took a little bit of damage with Kargan, but I don't... I mean, we lost one guy there, I think, and one guy off of that Thunderer group. So, total of two deaths. Yes, two losses. Uh, Snitch himself is dead, the army's run away, but the Death Master is down. And, uh, yeah, the army is inconsequential. It can't really take anything. And once we take this town out from behind them, if we're defending that little pass, there is no way anything's getting through. Not with that many Thunderers, Quarrelers, the Iron Breakers. No. Oh no. It's like a bridge defence. It doesn't it just doesn't happen, does it? You just don't lose it.
But uh, yes, Grombrindle will need an upgrade before we go anywhere else. I know I think I think I said last time we were going to go south, probably take out the last defenders, but most of our objectives now are north, not south. We don't really need to go south for any reason, um, apart from collecting up province capitals, but we can get like three or four of them by going north. Um, and we do need to go west as well. There's nothing for us east, so taking out Imric isn't going to be necessary, apart from just to nab that last settlement from him, Karak Norn. But if we take out him, or we start a war with him, then we've got an issue with the other elves. Which, at this high time in our lives, we don't really need. Especially seeing as elves, for the most part, kind of outranges. We need to swap up our armies a bit if we're going to deal with elves. You want... Um, lots of field guns. You obviously you still want your iron breakers, uh, but you mainly want your field guns, and then you want quarrelers and rangers and stuff. Bugman's rangers are probably really good because they like stealth, but then the archers have to come within your range. So uh, yeah, we'll have to retrofit our armies for going up against elves. We're also going to need to deal with the Wood Elves as well. We need to take out Athel Lauren, but luckily that's going to be a lot easier because we can just pretend we're all nicey-nicey and then drop about four armies next to the Oak of Ages and demolish it before spreading out for the rest of the provinces. Uh, once they've lost that, they lose by attrition because they won't, they'll will not they be able to take your towns, possibly. Um, possibly not, because we're dwarves. Um... But they won't be able to recruit anything. So, food for four. We've got plenty of places to go to. And as the dwarves, the world is literally our oyster. We're just going to take the leadership. Don't need the money for it. Uh, don't need to lose the replenishment, sorry. Deathmaster by name. Oh, he now stalks. That's quite good. That's very useful, Grumbrindle. Uh, movement range, replenishment rate, global recruitment capacity. Recruit rank might be good. Recruitment cost going down would also be good. Um, no, there's slammers and stuff. Garage throwers, cannons and organ guns. That might be useful. I don't really care about Oath Gold. Um, no, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce all the recruitment costs with him now because he's level 38. He's got 12 more levels to go. Don't really need to retrofit his army anymore than we have done. Replenishment rate is like ridiculously high. Uh, okay, we don't need that. He's leveled up, so he can now go for specialist. Karak Arud uh, can go for walls. We do want the carved obsidian, but not quite yet. Uh, how long on this? Two more turns. By the king's command. All right, let's get him going that way, shall we? Fight if you're going to fight. Fight if you're going to fight. Well, we do want to fight. Uh, right, with him, we're going to get rangers. Right, there we go. That's four turns. Four turns for a load of rangers. And what we're going to do as well is we're going to throw them in. Can we get a here? We can't get a here. <laughs> Might be worth then getting some regiments of renown. Maybe having something to back us up a little bit would be good. Two more turns. We should probably put some slayers in. That might be a good idea. Or maybe a grudge thrower so we can go straight in on cities and stuff. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll work it out. Uh, we'll go for Wound again for him. Grombrindle can level up again. We're going to go Eager King for Recruitment Cost. Level, not too worried about. 
Uh, yep, gem cutters hall would be good. For Runesmaths. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Lord hasn't moved. Thorgrim! You haven't moved, Thorgrim. The desolation is fine, so we're going to come this way. Don't need to do too much for the desolation. But we are also going to redo Ungrim's army at some point. Warriors and miners, not really his thing. I'm thinking rangers and... Um, rangers and slayers of various types. Uh, recruitment, cost and capacity. Growth and resources would be good. Tax rate, untainted and public order. Now I think I'm going to go growth. Once we've got the walls in there, I don't think they're going to be able to take it back. That's not looking too nice. That's fine. That's all good. Floating village. Uh, I think... I think we'll go for that. Uh, yeah, so we're still earning quite a lot of money. We could, in theory, if we could afford to like buy it, um, recruit another army. We could afford another like two or three at this point. Mainly because uh, our army in the north doesn't cost additional upkeep. Like it doesn't add on to it, which is good for us. Treven is trespassing. That's not good. They might pick our next war for us. Reichland's been destroyed. Bad bloody hell. <laughs> Ooh. Warriors of Chaos dead already? Well, that's not good, is it? We haven't even seen them yet. They only came out, like, last episode. Puppets of Chaos are gone as well. <laughs> Yet further, okay, we've now... Right, thank you, shush. Uh, so, we've completed four out of the five bonus objectives, so we've got 12,000 extra. Uh, the Doomtide uh, is coming. That's good. Bray Herds come. Uh, where are the Bray Herds? Bray Herds are over here. That is fine, and we're okay with that. All right, that's Queek. Uh, they've got 302 range. What I don't want is them sneaking past and hitting Karakarud. What we're going to do is going to add in growth here, and I would go and attack them. I'm here now. One unit. I will go and attack them, but give me a second. It is time. Right, that's fine. We're gonna go in at the desolation. Declare war. No allies have come in. Because they haven't got any. That's fine. We don't need to fight that because we're not gonna lose anyone. And then we are going to sack it and then take it. Growth and repair, that's fine. We want lots of money because then we can afford another army. Um, fire support, artillery, artillery, master engineers. Grudge against the foul. Grudge against undead. I mean, that's kind of good. Income from all buildings, local province. Mm. I mean, it's kind of okay. Research rate plus 7%. I think I'm going to go for the engineers one, though. Because we do need more engineers out. Right, this engineer. Got everything you need up there for a minute. 
Uh, we're going to go for increased mobility because we want to go further. You now we want Nagashazar as well. You we need that. Uh, and then we'll just grab. No, we won't grab two more of those because we weren't going to do that, were we? No, no, no. All right, let's head this guy up north. See what's going on up here. That is a big army. That's grand. Stone Mine Tower does not have defenders. Okay, so. He's free. Right, what has it got for a garrison? Garrison is reasonable. What have they got? Storm Vermin. And they can nuke. Not grand. Uh, so what we'll do then is we'll just recruit some thunderers in. If they're still there, then we get to kill them. You know who I am. And then we're going to go in over here. I'm here. It doesn't think we're going to do well. That's fine by me. Don't think we can do well. Right, we're not going to form up like we did last time. This time the Iron Breakers and the Miners are going to be formed into the front line and the Dwarf Warriors are going to be at the back. Well, the Dwarf Warriors are still going to be at the back, same as last time, but the Gunners and the Iron Drakes are going to be fed into the line so that I can just move forward the um, melee troops and the missile troops can carry on firing. It's going to be semi-checkerboard. Um, it's going to go from a straight line into a checkerboard. Um with obviously the quarrel is behind pinpointing enemy units. Their rattling guns have about as far distance to shoot as the Thunderers. What I'm hoping is that their mobs of troops are going to be blocking the way for the rattling guns and Gisales so that we can deal with those guys first. Those uh, other weapon teams are going to be annoying though. Right, so obviously we're attacking, which means that we have to go to them, but they might come to us because of artillery. So, let's... I don't want to get surrounded. Right, those there. Thunder is there. Alright, uh... No. Miners, sorry. Miners here. And then this lot here. Okay. Um, For the ancestor gods. This lot kind of here ish. Then this lot. Then this lot. Then this one. Right, okay, so. Group one. Four. Five. Quarrelers here. Six. Grumbrindle is invisible. That's fine. Then when they come in for the runesmith, they'll get Grumbrindle. And then we can put the artillery there. Gyrocopters on this flank. And then dwarf warriors can be spread out here. Because the last thing I really want is all of my guys being, like, taken out. But yeah, so they're going to wait for us to go to them, which is fine. Uh, where's their Gisales? 302. 159. Alright, get in on those clan rats. War of vengeance. 
All right, form there and Dunham. They're not really going to hurt our Iron Drakes, Iron Breakers. Right. Bring them guys back. It's fine. Iron breakers. Move. Flow through. They're fine, they're good. For mountain and hall. Fire and will. Right, that's fine. Iron Drake. Iron Drake's form there. All right, cease fire. Thunderous. Right, I'm not too worried about Queek. I probably should be, but I'm not. Ready for the Thunderers pull back. Iron Breakers go in. I thought they only had one of these. Why the hell have they got more? is beginning to get unfair all right turn around and fire just need to break them because when they break they're going to run off the map and then we don't have to bother about them Right, move those over there. You go into those clan rats. Right, let's move this around a smidge. That's fine. Pull over here. Right, move back into the centre. Right, hit the rattling guns. No, hit the Gisales. God damn! Come that way. Right, those Gisales need to die because otherwise we're going to start losing a fair amount of troops. Right. Right. Damn things have you got? Bugger off! I didn't tell you you could have these. Alright, press forward just a minute. Alright, try and hit those Death Globe Bombardiers. Right, go and get them. Try and get up there. You change round onto those guys. Right, pull that unit back over here. Carry on with those. Thunderers pull back. Coralers turn around onto those warp grinders. My god, Grumbrindle's getting beans. Back out, back out, back out. Right, shoot out those rattling guns. 
Range far! Range fast! Put those dwarf and legs! Range fast! God damn, range right. Fast. You lot, turn around. Those two pull this way. Right, go into close combat and go and get them. Right, they're down, they're gone. Get the bloody flame guard out. From Brindle, get out. Hey, right. He's now fleeing. Good. Oh, this way. Flame guard is fleeing. Thunderers pull that way. Right, we're going to lose the Ekrand Miners. But that's fine. The battle, however, is ours. Close victory. Yeah, I would say so. Ah, oh, right. I think we've lost the miners. The Iron Drakes should be fine. Grumbrindle did not stand up in that. I think he got sniped a couple of times by the Gisales, and then Queek is just... Well, he ain't through the Iron Drakes. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, our heroes came through, the important units came through, the Ironbreakers didn't really take any damage. We had the Dwarf Warriors in reserve that I kind of forgot about because they weren't in a control group. Uh, but other than that, all went well. It's because of all those bloody um, spawnings that kept coming up that I didn't know they had. It told me they had one usage. That one usage turned into about five if not more. So I was constantly having to reroute my line and stuff, and then having the Dwarf Warriors at the back fighting them. No, not good. Not good at all. However, the situation itself proved well. Like, the layout of the army did well. Um, the Bombardiers, Globadiers, whatever they are, they were nasty. I think it was just the, the sheer amount of, um, well, those guys, to be fair, not to put too fine a point on it, the uh, the Zap Zap team, wherever they are, the, uh, the the siege weapons is fine. They're gone now. They, uh, they don't really have anywhere over here to recruit. They might have maybe one town left, but that's not overly important. Like, we should be fine. And with them out of the way and not really around anymore. I mean, we've got non-aggression with Rockgar. I don't necessarily have to go that way. I definitely don't want an alliance of any sort. I just don't want him to attack me before I'm ready to go and wipe him out. What a bit of a sweet spot for him. Especially seeing as he's got Croak. God, I don't want to be going up against Croak. I thought Itza was meant to have Croak. My next campaign um, that I do as Lizardmen will, if they don't bring out another Legendary Lord, will have to be Itza because, quite frankly, Gorrock, what a beast. But it's going to be quite a while before I do any more Lizardmen stuff because there's so much to do in Warhammer. And they, they keep bringing out new games for Total War. There's always so much to do. Like, have you guys been enjoying Troy? I mean, I personally love Troy. It's so much different. Um, running around and like stabbing people and stuff. All right, we'll take the money because that's quite a lot. That army's now going to run away. That is fine. I'm quite happy for them to go because they're not really an issue for me anymore. 
bonus versus infantry. Lovely. Now we'll go back to Granite Massive and get a huge boost to our replenishment. Lovely stuff. Wound. Go for that again. Um, I must fulfill my slayer oath. If Nagashazar is not um well, it's not making money, so we won't do that. If it's not occupied, then what we'll do is we'll just recruit another lord, someone I don't care about. Mm, tough. About him. The only thing I want is a root march. I actually know. Root marcher and pure beard. Try getting some of that uh, corruption down. Now we can go around and just upgrade a load of things. That would be lovely. Mm, where do we need upgrades? Over here is fine. Over here, uh, that needs an upgrade. And then what we want is probably... Our public order is going down, so a refractory wouldn't be too bad. Um, not going to do anything there. Barrack Var, don't want upgraded walls. No. Crookback Mountain. That might be a good one. Or perhaps... Carrick, eight peaks. We'll do, we'll do eight peaks. Um, then we'll upgrade the defences there. We'll throw defences in there. And we'll put down a trinket maker. That leaves us with 18 grand. Hero hasn't moved. That's fine. We're going to hinder the replenishment there. Which is fine. Uh, scouting... May as well. This guy I don't think has moved, so we're going to come this way. Karak Zorn down here. Yeah, they are still alive. Right, would you like to be friends, my Dowie friends? Non-aggression. You have accepted. Huzzah, that's more than the other two. Who pretty much don't like me. Nope. Okay. No, that's fine. That is fine. Bordelow's doing okay. That's still alive. And kicking. Kick is not really expanding out. Right, no, we're all good down there. Settlement upgrade. I'm not going to upgrade that, mainly because it keeps um, rebelling. I just... I do want it to grow, but... Kind of need the money. Oh, it's only four. Fine. We'll do that. I just I want money around so that we can um, colonize Nagashazar without having to use Thorgrim. Because if the Silver Order, anyway, uh, the Vampire Counts down here. If they um, aren't very strong. Then I'll just use the one army that's down there. And if they are quite strong there, they've got a, quite like quite a few forces and stuff. Then what I'll do is I'll just wait until Thorgrim comes down. And we'll, uh, we'll double team it. Rumbrindle's down there as well. So if we really need to, which we really won't, we can just throw more people at it. But that's fine. That's fine. We're not... We're not pushed for it. It's all okay. We've got money. We are now going to have to check up the north. Oh, we have trespassers of Karak Norm. Where are you? Oh, you're well over there. Well, who cares about that? All right, move to there and then in camp. That'll be almost entirely sorted. I am the Slayer King. What we're going to do is we're going to move over to Raiding Stance and move forward. Oh, there's a beast herd. We underway this way, and then we're going to underway over to here. 
because I wish for Nagashizar. This army is done. That's good. So we're going to move over here. My next hit will be Karag Dromar. They don't have a lot. One more turn and they're done. And then they can go into Kragmire. Upkeep for dwarfs and um, yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Brad Tommen could level up. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll leave everything else. Hero hasn't moved. It's because I want to see what's in here. No, I don't want to wound you. I want to see what's in Morak. Ooh, Imrik might take that, you little bugger. No, you fail, failed. Never. Well, I do need the replenishment, though, is the problem. Uh, granite massive, and then carry on. Okay, we are able to see the army at Grenstadt. Clan Moors is dead. I believe someone has taken them out. By the looks of it, I'm going to say Imrik. Hmm. A little bit disappointing. But I guess to be expected. At least they won't let it be corrupted. Uh, June Kingdom's trade agreement dissolved. That's not great. But okay. Hmm. And Moore's dead. Send me a champion. Oh, yes, okay. An ad. On to glory for the ancestors. Fine, what have they got over here? What can that do? That assaults units and that assassinates. That's fine. Let's see what else they've got in the area first. Forwards. Beards in belts. Can I help you? Okay, they're doing their thing. So I'm going to leave them to it. Uh, that army has gone, so we can get rid of those. It's fine. They're going to be leveling up soon anyway. So I'm not too worried. For Leia's Sorrow. Fine. My anger burns bright. Right, Nagashizar. Colonize. Right, and what we'll do is we'll grab ourselves some miners to defend the town, and let's see what our special building is. Level 5, uh, income generated plus 200, immune to vampiric attrition all armies, that is going to be so bloody useful. Um, leadership plus 10 when fighting against vampire counts, vampire coast and tomb kings, double experience gains for fighting against vampire counts, vampire coast and tomb kings. Lovely stuff. Uh, we are going to need the anti-vampiric corruption Meduda. The slayer in me seeks death. Beards in belts. That doesn't seem overly strong, but then again, Count Ewald is over there on a boat. This is impudence. So we'll just have to see what happens there. Uh, Misty Mountain needs walls, and then we probably want Stonecutter's Shop. Uh, and if they're dead, Grombrindle, you may as well just steam your way back over towards Floating Village for me. Uh, because we're going to want to. We need Galvaraz. 
Like, we actually need Galbaraz. Um, we can spend out on more things. A Dwarf Dock's probably not the best thing. Um... Upkeep reduction, yeah, we'll go for that, and then we'll go for a tinker tinkerer's shop. You haven't moved, that's fine. You're going to come up this way. I have no intention of finding other people. Um, I want you to come over to Agri Migdal. I want to see what's going on with those people, and then this guy can come towards Galboraz, please. Commandment available. Uh, obviously untainted a public order because we're definitely going to need that. The desolation of Nagash is kind of undefended. But if I can take Lamea quickly enough without... Um, it might be best to just ally up with Kropgar, might not it? Thinking about it, because they're going to be coming through our territory anyway, because part of their territory is blocked off by me. So we may as well make them happy about it and stop any, like, hard feelings. I guess. What I need to see, though, is what Count Ewald does. He's heading for the desolation. I think he knows his capital is done for. I am the High King. I will uh, they want non-aggression and stuff. Uh, I don't offer £100. You can have non-aggression because I genuinely I just don't want to fight you. You're running around all over the place. I'd rather just have non-aggression. Right, Thick Gowlish is ready for combat. I grow restless. Right, we are going to just go straight in at Lamea. And auto-resolve. I could fight it, but there's really no point. Uh, just occupied, eh? Good. Ooh, gem mine. What a gem. Yay. Um, don't really need it. I want one of those, another Hall of Oaths, so that we can get more Thanes and stuff. We are going to need a Slayer's Place. Uh, go for a Barley Field, shall we? Ungrim can level up. So... I think we're going to be better against Vampire Counts. Mm. Oh dude, hard to hit. Throw banners. Let's march. Move the right, let's move over here. They are going to be taking attrition. I don't mind being caught in a tunnel because we're just going to gun them I... with everything we've got. We've got the flamethrowers. We've got the artillery. We should, in theory, be able to do this. Whether they go into the town or not. Uh, Valet of Sorrow can level up. Are we? Are we ready? Right, we're going to grab ourselves a... We're not going to grab ourselves anything actually because we don't need to. We're just going to jump over here to Kragmir. And then that's where we're going to wrap up part... Well, the first part of this stream, I can't actually remember what episode it is. I think it's 15. Uh, bear with me a sec. Yes, part 15 of our live stream. Um, sorry, of our campaign. So if you're watching this on YouTube, it is goodbye for now. If you're watching this on Twitch, I'm just going to keep carrying on. Um, so if you have enjoyed, then don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Go and check out Twitch where this obviously was sorted. Uh, then also check out the videos on your screen uh, that should be showing up around about now. And also, last but definitely not least, go and check out all of my social media. That's my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Discord. All of my updates, schedules, and announcements. Until next time, guys. Bye for now.